After a minor delay, we're ready for Unix Denmark Open 2012. We are back here in the evening session and uh, just saw the first game of uh, Joachim Fischer Christina Petersen against their opponent from uh, Austria. From Austria, Roman Sienwald and uh, Elisabeth Baldauf. Oh, and uh, Steen Petersen, when I say Austria, what do you, what do you think of badminton? No, I think of uh, Felix Baumgartner oh. and uh, <laughs> space jumping. <laughs> yeah. And uh, thank you for that, Stein, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, no, no. Uh, to be serious, yeah. they, they've raised the level. We can see that in the uh, European circuit tournaments that they have uh, some uh, pretty strong players coming up. But um, in, in, in this first game here, they've been... Uh, They've been a little bit overmatched, uh, Joachim and, and Christina playing the first match since uh, winning the bronze medal at the Olympics and, and they've been really uh, on fire here in the first game. And
I expect that, um, that they will continue in the second here and, and uh, get an easy first round. And 21, 10 and just 12 minutes for uh, Joachim Fischer and Christina Peterson. Great start for the two Danes. Very good start. And uh, also when we when we watch uh, Joachim Fischer uh, stay in, it's it's a match where we don't we don't we don't need Joachim to be uh, very much on the court tonight. He has already played two played two matches this 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 day. That's enough for him. Yeah, he's played two men's doubles matches together with uh, Jonas Rasmussen. Um, they won them quite easy, but uh, still being on the court for three matches is. Uh, something that you generally want to avoid. And for the first time in this match, Austria in lead with uh, two points. sitting home watching our live channel thank you very much for being with us tonight I'm honored to be a commentator and host this whole week until Saturday where uh, we stop our streaming from this tournament but uh, a lot of good matches coming up so uh, stay with us and uh, I'll talk you through it together with among others Eustine it's a it's a great week we're going into this time. Yeah, it's uh, a lot of good matches awaiting on us uh, Premier Series here, and uh, all the best players in the world uh, gathered uh, for the first time since the Olympics. So um, yeah, it's just uh, stay tuned at your computer and uh, and follow all the action here. Yeah, it's a uh, it's amazing to see how many stars there's at. At, uh, at our on our course to in this week into this tournament and uh, Joachim Fischer of course one of them together with the Christina Peterson defending champions here from uh, Odense says a lot about uh, what kind of, of viewers we have on this uh, on this channel uh, I just I'm, I'm sure that my girlfriend actually is, is, is watching and she's not a big, big badminton fan but th that shows all about what what this tournament is about it's it's a huge tournament a huge start from the first day right I think I think she just misses your voice right <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so I'm not sure I'm not sure but the, but the stars are huge in this tournament and uh, what, what does it seem to Danish badminton that uh, that we have a tournament like this on, on, our, on our ground it's of course important to to be able to present all the best players in the world um, everybody in top 10 has to play the tournament so so that's really nice And then, uh, yeah, yeah, it's also a good opportunity for uh, for uh, Danish companies um, to present themselves uh, at this stage. There's a number of uh, foreign journalists here, and, and they're going uh, on a tour to visit also um, some of the sponsors of this tournament. So, a lot of opportunities uh, for for promoting Denmark and and Funen. And uh, we got a question from. Uh, one of our viewers called uh, Jacob Osted asking, uh, as far as I know, or as far as I can understand, 
uh, the Premier status uh, status as, as a Premier tournament is not safe for, for Denmark yet, uh, but we have to make uh, a request on on on, be, on still being a Premier tournament. And what's what's the status right now? Uh, Jacob is asking. Yeah, I think the status is that um, there's been uh, the countries have have uh, filed applications for for the next period. I think it's four years actually. For the Premier Series, and, and some countries has, have applied to host a, a Premier Series. It's Denmark, it's England, it's China, uh, and uh, Indonesia. Four countries that already uh, hosts uh, a Premier Series um, at the moment. Korea has uh, chosen not to continue its uh, Premier Series status, and then three uh, new countries have uh, applied to become a. Premier Series nation, and that's Australia, which is very, very interesting, and uh, Malaysia, and then also uh, Chinese Taipei. So uh, that will be decided by uh, by the BWF Council. Um. Yeah, what do you think about that? If we have uh, a tournament going to to Australia as a Premier Series, uh, I think that would be really nice. Um, it would be nice to, to get another continent uh, represented in, in the Premier Series. Uh, it could be nice if Northern America would like to host a, a Premier Series as well, but um, Australia sounds really good. And uh, who, who's out then? Mm, depends. I mean, I don't know if, if, if five is the limit uh, or they might want to, to add tournaments to this series, but um, the way I see it, Chinese Taipei has a very slim chance of getting a Super Series, so they might, they might uh, select the other six countries to host a Premier Series. We had just started the Premier Series draw, the uh, main draw for Yonex uh, Denmark Open this year. Joachim Fischer, Christina Peterson leading with six points in the second interval. 11 to 5. Impressing start for, for those two. Just uh, continuing the good play they, they had at the Olympics. Not, 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 not any struggling. And just getting that job done. Yeah, but they, they are a much better pair than, um, than the two Austrian players here. But it's, um, it's good to see them uh, concentrated and motivated. It's uh, Christina's first tournament since the Olympics. Um, it's also for Joachim, his first tournament, but Christina has uh, had surgery for uh, umbilical hernia and, um, and was out for, uh, for two months here, so that's a comeback tournament, and um, of course it's nice to start that well instead of uh, a much closer game. Later, uh, oh, oh, sorry, earlier this day we had a contest about a shirt from uh, Victor Axelsen, <coughs> and tonight for sure we'll also have a quiz and uh, this time you have the opportunity to win a Yonex shirt and all you need to do is to answer to this question where is this tournament being played be, be played where are we playing this week give me your answer on an email you can do it at Denmark open at badminton.com sorry badminton.dk of course Denmark open at badminton.dk where are we playing this week, this year's Yonex Denmark Open? Ten point lead here for 
Danish Olympic bronze medalists. And uh, when Joachim and uh, Christina are proceeding to the second round, they will face a bit tougher opponents as um, they're playing the winner of uh, Indonesian. Mohamed Riyal and Debbie Susanto, and uh, the Chinese pairing of uh, Cao Jiaming and Chang Jinghua, who came through the qualification earlier today. We don't know yet who will win that match, but that will be the opponents for the Danes tomorrow. service for Sinwal and not much of a chance for the two Austrians this time Dane, it's, uh, it's a tough day at the office for, for those two yeah it's been a pretty uh, straightforward affair um, they have to look at it as experience in playing <coughs> tournaments at the, at the highest level they can uh, they can learn from it go home and evaluate where they need to practice better. 99. And then the match point for Fischer and uh, Pedersen. 20 match point nine. 24 minutes only for getting to the match point. Pedersen for the service. Hayaka and uh, Matutomo against Sang Nang Tsushu Lai. Next match coming up. Service for from Christina uh, Pedersen. Cute. Cheering for the Danes on home ground in Ulmsu. Uh, no, no sh yeah. shot from uh, Fischer. 21 10, 21 10 for Joachim Fischer Nielsen and uh, Christina Pedersen. And staying uh, not much of a fight as we expected, so to say. Oh, I guess that was what the Danes hoped for. 25 minutes of uh, court time. Joachim has been there a lot today and uh, for Christina it's nice to, to be on the court and uh, no pressure on, so they haven't used a lot of uh, uh, mental energy on, on this match and um, yeah it's time for a shower <laughs> <laughs> 